set time to be holy. Speak of with thy Lord. Abide in him always. And feed on his word. Make friends of God's children. Help those who are weak. Forgetting in nothing. His blessing to see. Take time to be holy. The world rushes on. Spend much time in secret with Jesus alone. By looking to Jesus, like him thou shalt be. Thy friends in thy conduct, his likeness shall see. Take time to be holy. Let him be thy guide. And run not before him. Whatever be time, in joy or in sorrow, still follow thy Lord. And looking to Jesus, still trust in his word. Take time to be holy, be calm in thy soul. Each thought and each temper beneath his control. Thus, led by his spirit to fountains of love, thou shalt soon be fitted for service aboard. Amen. Raising up prayer warriors and valiant youths to face end time challenges. The revelations you have had Spell end time challenges. The church is going to doom because the ministers have disconnected themselves from God and the members are facing another direction. The Lord wants you to know this, to know who is on his side. Who will go for him? Are you there? Are you there? I told you, be committed to the word of God. If you will fight this battle and win for God, you must know the word. To live the life of righteousness and holiness. And now tonight, I'm taking you to prayers. You must be committed to all kinds of prayers. Let's go before the Lord and say, Lord, I want you to train me, equip me for this walk. Equip me, Lord, for this war. I want to go for you. I want to snatch the church from the hands of apostate people. I want to recover the church from backsliding, from ruin. To return the church back to God in righteousness and holiness. Mm. Jesus, power. God, put your prayer power upon your children invest your prayer power upon your children the Holy Ghost should fill your children with power inspiration for prayer inspiration for prayer let there be raised up to you youth with the strength of prayer youth that will walk the miles of prayer Hey, my divine glory, glory, oh Lord, but start with me, Jesus, begin with me, I will go for you, Lord, I will go for you Lord here I am Lord send me send me Lord send me oh Lord but start with me Jesus be with me I will go 
trouble for you, Lord. I will go for you, Lord. Here I am, Lord. Send me, send me, Lord. Send. Divine, you have shown us the challenges the church is facing in this end time. You have shown us the derailing of your people. Masters have turned to the other side and are moving your people to the other party. Divine, you are raising up a new breed. Look at them before you. I am praying. You are raising up prayer warriors. You are raising up valiant men and women. To send them forth. To overcome these challenges of end time. They will recover the church. Yeah. As David, they shall snatch the sheep from the mouth of the lions. Yeah. Mm. They shall snatch the sheep from the mouth of the bear. Yeah. Let the Holy Ghost fall. Let the Holy Ghost fall on them. Yeah. Let the Holy Ghost fall on us. Receive the Holy Ghost. Receive the Holy Ghost. Let the power of the Lord come upon you now. Let the power of the Lord come upon you now. Let the power of the Holy Ghost. The power of the Lord. The power of the Lord. The power of the Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. You can be seated. Your commitment to all kinds of prayers, all kinds of prayers. In Ephesians chapter 6, verse 18. Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all sins. All kinds of prayers. The Lord told me of a man of God dedicated to holiness ministry. He said, he can gather scriptures, but he has problem with prayer. He can gather the scriptures. Then Jesus said, I compare him to a person that loads a lot of bullets to his gun, but does not shoot. The bullet, the gun is loaded with scriptures. But he doesn't shoot it. Somebody said of another evangelist, a great evangelist, if this man had added prayers to his life, to his ministry, he would have done a great work on earth instead of backsliding. He would have done a great work on earth. Now, because the Lord wants to use you, he wants your eyes to open to the need of prayer. Prayer is like the foil in the vehicle. 
Your engine is sound. Yes, you have the word. You have the scriptures. You have the knowledge. You have the understanding. But as sound as the engine is, if there's no foil, it does not go anywhere. If your foil finishes, when you are in a journey, you will park there. It will be wrong to bring you here and teach you righteousness and holiness. And teach you the fear of God. The knowledge of the Almighty. When we do not tell you how to pray it into your life. How to pray on your life in the future. How to pray up strength and accumulate strength into your life for end time battles that's why you need to know this the importance of prayer your commitment to all kinds the glory of the young man is his strength he has enough energy enough power to expand before god you are young. You have power. I, I really used my youthful days to pray. Not that I'm not praying now, but I did a lot of praying. I had all the time. All the time. Go withdraw to the bush and pray there. Took every form to pray. Took prayer walk. Go to an abandoned house and pray. I spent time because I knew of the ministry that was before me. I knew of that ministry. I wanted to be equal to it. I wanted grace. I gave prayer points out to people. Why? Wow, I wanted to do exploit for Jesus. My exploit has not yet started. They are beginning. I said they are beginning. Yes. Therefore, I am telling you to. How many of you want to do exploit for Jesus? Hey. Then you will come after me in prayer. You will give yourself. You will give your time to prayer. Jesus prayed. He spent 40 days praying. He withdrew often to pray. What the devil has struggled. To achieve is to kill prayer in churches. To kill prayer in ministers. To kill prayer in conferences. To kill prayer in the families. That is what the devil has succeeded. And to kill prayers in the youth. Go to some churches and see what the youth are doing there. They are like bats hanging on top of trees during prayers. Their heads are hanging down. They can say nothing. Prayer has gone. What is the hope of the church tomorrow? If these people cannot pray, if we have youth that are intelligent, youth that can sing, youth that can connect, youth that can do this, do this, except prayer. Those in the media, you can do this, you can do this, except prayer. You can connect those in the choir. You can sing except prayer. They in the ushering. They can usher except prayer. Then the church is gone. The church is gone. But something will happen here. Prayer power. Prayer spirit. Prayer grace. Prayer ability. Prayer anointing. Receive! You will revive. The Lord shall revive your prayer life. Everybody say, The Lord shall revive my prayer life. Say it again. Say it again. I look at the coordinators, the pastors. I've been asking myself, do they pray? If they cannot pray, they can't live the holy life. Holy life can only be lived by prayer. 
because temptations are many. In a short time, we are, we are like people living in Hammer Town. You don't know how the doors come, but they will come. You must be constantly cleaning. Temptations are always coming. You must say something to God constant. You must say something to God. You are not too holy for Satan to tempt. You are not too holy. You are not too knowledgeable for Satan to tempt. The only way, check him out. out. Meet him at the gate by prayer. Confront him by prayer. That sin in your life will die by prayer. Youthful time is the time to determine your life's grade before God. It is God. Yes. It is if you knew God and spend your time in God, spend time to pray. God through your prayers will determine a future for you. He will place you there. Some people by their performance are promoted to a, a next class without finishing the class they are in. Some, they jump them to the other class by their performance. The Lord will rate you. The Lord will position you. The Lord will fix your future. Having exercised yourself in prayer, the Lord knows that you can be a pillar for him. He knows where you will function. He will be happy. Yes, he will be happy. That is why as fish wants to get rotten, it starts from the head. If the devil wants to walk out the backsliding of someone, he starts with his prayer life. Get him off the prayer life. Then the backsliding will run and flow through. Yes. That's what I'm saying. Spend time to pray. Expend your energy to pray. Now, I will show you how you can invest into this future bliss, future joy, future importance and usefulness. Investing in your youthful days for such a future. That is by your commitment to prayer. Bible prayer. Prayers after the manner of Bible sins. Praying after the manner of Jesus Christ. Yes, all kinds of prayers. Kinds of prayers. Not only one kind. Kinds. Many kinds. Look at it again in Ephesians chapter, chapter 6 verse 18. It says... Praying always with all prayer, all kinds. It talks of all kinds. It talks of degrees. The, the full degree of prayer. Gearing all your strength to pray. All prayer and supplication in the spirit. Get yourself involved into it. Not the prayer that your heart is not there. Your mind is not there. Let your heart be captured by it. Let your spirit be captured by it. Yeah, invite the Holy Ghost to help you pray. Get baptized in the Holy Ghost. So that the Holy Ghost can teach you to pray. Now, what are the kinds of prayer you should engage in? Prayer of personal repentance in the book of Luke chapter 18 verse 13 and 14 Luke chapter 18 verse 13 and 14 and the publican standing afar off would not lift up so much as his eyes unto heaven but smote upon his breast saying God, be merciful to me, a sinner. I tell you, this man went down to his house justified, rather than the other. For everyone that exalted himself shall be abased, and he that humbled himself shall be exalted. Prayer of repentance. This publican knew his life. 
his fraudulent activities, his lies and cheats. He knew him, his wickedness. And when he got convicted, hey, God, show me mercy. I am a sinner. Jesus, show me mercy. I am a sinner. God, save me from my sin. I am a sinner. That is the prayer of repentance. Cry to God. Cry. Cry to God. Cry. Cry to God that your sins should leave you. That your life should change. That righteousness should take over your life. Pray that he should remove iniquity from your life, from your heart. Pray that the Lord will seal you up against sin. That sin will not have dominion over you. Those desires, those cravings, the power of lust that is working in your heart, pulling on your heart, cry, plead, call on God, mean business. Let God break that yoke in your life and set you free. That imagination, where is it coming from? It's coming from the devil. Work hard to, to clear it out. The thoughts of pride, thoughts of pride and beauty. Thoughts of, I am handsome, I am great. Break that thing. Cry to God for it. Let him get those things removed. Every kind of sin. Masturbation. <laughs> Masturbation. No, you must cry. You must plead. The publican, he could not as much as lift up his head, to, his eyes to heaven. He was smoting. Mm. Mm. God, have mercy upon me. <laughs> Jesus, I must not do it again. <sighs> cry out and be saved. I said, cry out and be saved. I told you a story of a young man in Benin City. He was talking with a, the, the, in the house because he was brought there and a, a lady. He was related to the, to the brother in the house while the lady was related to the wife. And as nobody was in the house, they were just talking, talking. And the devil, the devil visited that place. He gave, him, he gave them sign. They couldn't pick the sign. He gave them, oh, he has picked the sign, but he thought that he could bear it. My holiness is great. Your holiness is greater than Satan. Who told you? The Bible says flee from fornication. When you saw your body moving, when you saw that you have crossed the bar, or that you are getting closer to the bar, waiting to run, waiting to fly out, waiting to jump out, he didn't do so because of presumption. Because of the pride that I am holy. I am deeper life. You know this deeper life type of thing. People think that deeper life is holiness. The holiness is the word of God. That the, whatever church you belong to, that is not the holiness. Holiness is the word of God. Holiness is Jesus. Do as the word says. Jump out of that place. Break that relationship. Tear yourself out of that place. There are people who cannot do this. So before he knew it, both of them had visited hell right in the parlor there i think you understand what i mean after he finished satanic business right in the parlor he said eh? oh i have died i have died the bible says, he that the way this thing shall die i have died he put his son on his head oh, i've died he was on the way to the church god i died Meaning, I am for hell. They asked him, bro, what happened? He said, did somebody die? Yes. Who? I am the one. I die. Where did you die? In the palo. <laughs> I'm telling you, then, as you cry like that, the God of heaven will know your heart. Not this casual thing you are doing. If you do those casual things, you will end up in hell. If you take your life casually, hell is your portion. Hell! you will be there because you're not taking prayer seriously to break the power of satan to break the forces of witchcraft on you on your way take it i mean take it if shame comes, deal with shame and move for deliverance move for confession otherwise you will go to hell you will go to hell you won't come back i'm thinking this hell is too close to you now it has been coming you'll be wasting time go and pray so praying with all prayers Prayer of repentance. Again, David prayed the prayer of restitution, restoration. When he fell into sin. Psalm 51. I read from verse 1. Psalm 51. David, what happened to you? 
I saw a woman taking bath. I couldn't remove my eyes. Even when the Holy Ghost was beating upon my eyes, I said, you should leave me alone. Before I knew it, I have sent for the woman to come and meet me. And that is how I died. So, now David was crying. Psalm 51 from verse 1. Have mercy upon me, O God, according to thy loving kindness, according unto the multitude of thy tender mercies, blot out my transgressions, wash me thoroughly from mine iniquity, and cleanse me from my sin. For I acknowledge my transgressions, and my sin is ever before me. It, it, there are people when they caught them, when they sin, instead of uh, confessing their sin, they are playing diplomacy. They are adding lies to their sin. They will not confess it. They confess half sin. We have said the word of inspiration says what? You should not do not confess half sin. You are confessing to the living God. The pastor has no power to, to deliver you. He can say you are forgiven and you are restored, but you confess half sin. You didn't go to the detail. The Holy Ghost says, some are still remaining. Some are still remaining. You are not ready to say it because you are covering your personality. Your confession is meaningless. You are half done. You are half done. If you don't confess the full thing, you will perish. David say against thee, thee only have I done this wickedness. I agree with you. I agree with my sin. I agree. You said I am this. I am. They say you are a witch. You say never. Witch? I don't know which since my mother born me. But you are. You are. You are. You are a wizard. We are going to confess ah, until hell. They are going one by one until you are there. So he said, I acknowledge my sin. I agree. I am Mami Water Spirit. I have Mami Water Spirit. The queen of the cause has made me a daughter. Deliver me. Expose yourself that you might be delivered. Expose. That's what the word of God is saying. Against thee, thee only have I sinned and done this evil in thy sight, that thou mightest be justified when thou speakest and be clear when thou judgest. Behold, I was shaping with iniquity, and in sin did my mother conceive me. Behold, thou desirest truth in the inward parts, and in the hidden part thou shalt make me to know wisdom. Purge me with his soul, and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. David was pleading. Have you done like that before? Casual Christian. You are in the grade three Christian. You're not grade one, you're not grade two. You're in the grade three. Let, my, let them live together until the harvest. You are in that grade. Living together with original children until the harvest. Why are you waiting? Why must it be like that? Because you cannot confess. Because you cannot acknowledge your iniquity. Because you cannot honor God. Because you cannot make please God. You, you fear Satan more than God. You fear the man that is sleeping with you. He's a pastor. You fear him more than God. You fear the man that is abusing you in homosexuality. You fear that man than God. Yes, that's why you cannot confess. But the one that fears God will confess, will confess, will confess and agree to his iniquity. So I'm talking to you on prayer of repentance, restoration. Again, prayer of thorough cleansing and sanctification. Prayer of thorough cleansing. If you look at this prayer that David is doing here, from verse, from verse 5, he was now asking for a thorough walk. Because in verse 2, he had said, Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. Salvation. Verse 5, Behold, I was shepherd in iniquity, and in sin did my mother conceive me. Inbred sin, Adamic nature, 
moral corruption within me because I'm connected to Adam. Purge me with his soul and I shall be clean. Wash me and I shall be whiter than snow. Sanctification of my heart. Then I shall be whiter than snow. Prayer for sanctification and holy living. Look at it in Psalm 139 verse 23 and 24. Psalm 139, 23 and 24. These are the kinds of prayer. Search me, O God, and know my heart. Try me and know my thoughts and see if there be any wicked way in me and lead me in the way everlasting. Prayer for daily holiness. God, if is there any wrong in my life, clean up. Lead me in your everlasting holiness every day that he might serve them. Yes, and grant unto them that they will serve him in holiness and righteousness all the days of their life. And that will require prayer. Search me, Lord. Prayer for righteousness and holiness. Search me, Lord. Your heart is polluted towards a young man and you are not doing anything about it. You didn't go to God to ask him to deliver you from those pollutions. Your heart is lusting after a lady and you are not praying to God. You are not pleading with him to deliver you and patch you from that type of lie. You need to pray for the holiness of your heart. Then, prayer of petition. Request. You want God to do something for you. In Jeremiah chapter 29, I read verse 11. Jeremiah chapter 29, I read verse 11 to verse 13. God is speaking here, telling you, come and make requests. Quicken your prayer life if you want the blessings of God. He said, for I know the thoughts that I think toward you. See at the law, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you an expected end. Then shall ye call upon me, and ye shall go and pray unto me, and I will hearken unto you. And ye shall seek me, and shall find me, and I'm a win. Ye search for me with all your heart. I will give you what you're looking for. Go and call upon me. I will give you husband. Go and call upon me. I'm going to open jobs for you in life. I will give you admission. Just go and pray. Spend time. Spend time before me. Go and pray. I will change that circumstance. Just go. Just go and pray. Go and find time before me. Prayer makes me happy. Prayer makes me just joyful. Because I am he that answered prayer. In Matthew chapter 7. I read verse 7 to verse 11. Ask, and it shall be given you. Seek, and ye shall find. Knock, and it shall be opened unto you. For everyone that asketh, receiveth. And he that seeketh, findeth. And to him that knocketh, it shall be opened. Or what man is there of you? Whom, if his son asks bread, will he give him a stone? Or if he asks a fish, will he give him a serpent? If ye then, being evil, know how to give good gifts unto your children, how much more shall your Father which is in heaven give good things to them that ask him? God is waiting for you at the point of asking. God is waiting for your prayer, for your prayer time. He is waiting for you to open mouth and pray. Those things that other people got to steal, you will get yours from God cheaply if you can pray. Those things that people spend a lot of money upon, you will get it very cheaply if you can pray. Those great labors, people go about laboring just for money. If you spend enough time in prayer, the Lord will bring open doors of money so cheaply like that to you. It's waiting for you in the place of prayer. Yes. And the Lord said, ask and receive that your joy may be full. Ask and receive that your joy may be full. He thought to up to now have ye asked nothing in my name that is too much. Ask. And the Father will give it unto you. That you should be happy with him. You will praise him. 
You will give testimonies unto him. For this poor man prayed, and the Lord heard him, and delivered him out of his troubles. Yes, they looked unto him in prayer, and brightness came upon, their, came upon them, and their faces were no longer ashamed. Come and test. You will see that the Lord is good. It is my prayer. You are here. You will change. Amen. The situation of your life. As you go before the Lord. In this come. In this conference. Either as we are, talk, we are speaking now. After, or during the prayer session. Or maybe after here. Or early in the morning. Or in the night. Anytime that you rise up to pray, to present your case like Hannah before the God of heaven, may God hear your prayers. May the Lord bring answers to your life. That's what the Lord is telling you. Your commitment to all kinds of prayer, prayer of intercession. That's praying for others. In the book of Ephesians chapter 6, verse 18 to 20. Ephesians chapter 6, verse 18 to 20. The Bible tells us, Praying always, with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit, and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all sins, and for me, that utterances may be given unto me, that I may open my mouth boldly to make known the mystery of the gospel, for which I am an ambassador in bonds, that therein I may speak boldly as I ought to speak. Yes, that's what Paul was calling for prayer. Yet yeah, he wanted the people to pray for him. He wanted the people to pray for him so that he would keep on preaching. He would keep on with boldness. With boldness. Hebrews chapter 13, we pray, we read verse 18. Hebrews 13, verse 18. Pray for us, for we trust we have a good conscience. In all things, willing to live honestly. Pray for us. Let not the devil frame up anything against us. Let not the devil, the devil dumping our testimonies with lies. Let us not be misinterpreted by people in this world so that the mystery of God, the ministry he has given to us will, will be rejected by others. Pray for us. I say pray for us. In the, in, the, in, the, in, in the book of 2 Thessalonians, chapter 3, verse 1 and 2. 2 Thessalonians, chapter 3, verse 1 to 3. Finally, brethren, pray for us that the word of the Lord may have free course and be glorified, even as it is with you, and that we may be delivered from, all, from unreasonable and wicked men. For all men have no faith. But the Lord is faithful. Who shall establish you and keep you from evil? Now, listen. The, you have had revelations on top ministers. Who will do this? Because of fear of wickedness in the world. They will kill me. They will send assassins. They will send kidnappers. They will attack spiritually. They will do this. But I knew all that and ignored them. Because of the source of men. It is not assassination of character. I feel it with the Lord. Phineas felt it with the Lord. When they were, they were bringing women to commit immorality in the camp of God, he felt it. And when an, Israel, an Israelite brought a Midianitish woman to commit immorality, when the people were booing, Phineas just stood up and went with a javelin and thrust them through. That such abomination should not be in the land. So can you see it is the zeal of the Lord. We want righteousness. 
we will not spare any man as long as the Lord has asked us to do what we're doing. We will do it not minding our lives. Whether we'll do it and die, <laughs> we, we have done it. The most important thing is we have done it. And I know multitudes will be getting out of these churches. Multitude will be coming out of these churches. Multitude, multitude, multitude. And that is my joy. They never died for the church. They didn't die for sinners. And they want to eat the fats. They want to deprive Jesus of his own people. And we are for Jesus. Are you for Jesus? Yeah. Are you for Jesus? Yeah. You will go and spread those revelations. You will go everywhere. Fly. I said you should fly. I said you fly. Yeah. Fill the world with it. People will come out. When the revelation came out first, people ran out of the lost chosen. They have not finished running. I said they have not finished coming out. A second one has come new running until they have run out all the one that will not run is ready for hell you were doing this thing not minding what hey how are you feeling you want to spoil their ministry do they have ministry do they have ministry is it god that gave them dam damnable ministry that they turn away from god and are leading people to hell you will not go to hell except you refuse to hear the voice of the true prophet of god if you refuse, go. Our hands are clean from your own blood. So what are we saying? It means you have to pray for us. Because some people are wicked. They don't bother about God. They will say, you are pouring sand upon my rise. You are pouring sand. A, a particular boy was doing pickpocket in Lagos. And a woman was passing and told the man, check yourself. Check, something is happening. And the boy was busy eyeing that woman. This is my business. And but he is my neighbor. It's your business, but the man is my neighbor. I say it is your business, but the man is my neighbor. The money of my neighbor, you can't take it because of corrupt business. That's why I am making my neighbor to know that evil is around him. Evil. They are our brethren on the earth. Why must they die? There were breeding, there were neighbors. Why must they go to hell? Because of corrupt men that have chosen to be rebellious against God, that have forsaken the guide of their youth, they have forsaken the ministry the Lord gave them, and now they want to damn human souls. Not in my presence. I say, not where I am, not when I have hands to save the people. We will save them, we will save those people, we will save them. But then you must pray. Then no weapon fashioned against me shall prosper. No weapon fashioned against holiness movement shall prosper. Yeah. By your prayers. Are you going to pray? Yeah. Are you going to pray? Yeah. Then there's greater work we shall do in this life. Greater works. And the devil's hand shall be bound. Amen. That is what we're saying. Prayer of intercession. But it is to pray for all men. Pray for your brother. Pray for your parents. For their salvation. Pray for everybody. Pray for the church. The people that are in the church. Pray for even your school. Pray for your workplace. Pray for your leaders. Even leaders in the world. In world affairs. In the book of uh, Timothy. First Timothy chapter 2. I read verse 1 to verse 3. I exhort therefore that first of all supplications, prayers, intercessions, and giving of tongues be made for all men, for kings, and for all that are in authority, that we may lead a quiet and peaceable life in all godliness and honesty. For this is good and acceptable in the sight of God our Savior. Who will have all men to be saved and to come unto the knowledge of the truth? For people to come into the knowledge of the truth, you must pray. Listen, our, one of our coordinators was testifying. He said he never heard of holiness movement before. So he didn't know. And he was of living faith. So when he was passing by and saw a banner, 
because of the uh, maybe conference of holiness revival movement a banner holiness revival movement he couldn't tell where terrible anger came on him I, but i don't know them before yes i satan that have been with you all this while i know them they are not evil they are not good people they have come to spoil my work the brother doesn't know why but satan knows why satan knows why Yes, hatred is in their hearts. Another brother said, a spirit came to him and said, hate Pastor Rika. Hate Pastor Paul Rika. But what has he done? No, I said, hate him. I hate him. <laughs> I hate him. So you hate him too. Uh -uh. But it is Pastor Rika that helped me and helped me here. I said, hate him. The preacher was coming. I hate him. Hate him. He said, now get away from me. I want to... Then he saw the devil run away out of him. Listen, Satan has poured hatred in many of these churches. You think you're going to serve their members by giving them the truth. No, they're not ready. Every seated here are people that having had all this, they're angry because of the demon that is controlling them. The demon, they have been eating and drinking of these people. They have been smoking all these things, all this idolatrous worship and the holy, polluted holy communions that they have been taking in these corrupt churches. They have demonized them. You didn't hear that Simon the sorcerer bewitched the whole Samaria. These people have bewitched their all, the whole congregation. So it's not an easy thing. You need to pray, confront that demon, break the power. That has blinded the people. If our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost, in whom the God of this world has blinded the minds of people that believe not. Lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, which is the image of God, should shine unto them. There are people who came and said, The word, stand on the word. Just put your eyes on the word. Don't mind revelations. They, don't, they think they're saying something. They're saying nothing. It's because Satan blinded them. Jesus is the same yesterday. Is he, to, is he the same Jesus today? Yes. Will he be the same Jesus tomorrow? Yes. Did he give revelation to, to the saints yesterday? Yes. Can he give the revelation to saints today? Yes. Will he still give the revelation to saints tomorrow? Yes. Despise not prophesying. All that is required is proof all things to ensure it is like that. Check it out. And in the New Testament church, the Bible says, when ye come together, my brethren, one of you bring a, bring a psalm, bring a revelation, bring a tongue, bring the all things be done to edify. Revelation remains part of the church. If you belong to the, to the group that say we don't need it, you are working with 50% of your ability. That's why we're flying here. We have the fullness of the gospel. We are working with both right hand side and left hand side. We are moving with our two feet, left and right. We believe the doctrines of scripture. You can never fault us in one doctrine of the Bible. All the knowledge of the Bible, we will examine you to know whether you are according to scripture. Carry my message. Carry my books. Carry everything and examine it by the scriptures. 100% perfect. I say 100% perfect. 100% perfect. Yay! And yet, the Lord has given to me abundance of revelations. According to the manner of Paul. Paul say, the Lord gave me abundance of revelation. If it is not working in your church, it's because the Lord has not chosen that church for it. But here he has chosen it. He has chosen this place. Abundance of revelation didn't work in Peter. It didn't work, it, it didn't work in all the, the other apostles. But it worked in Paul. It worked in Paul. It will work in holiness movement. It will work in holiness movement. Therefore, don't challenge it. You are ignorant. That say, that stand on the Bible. You are ignorant. I watch you with ignorance. I just know that you have not known it all. Because Jesus, he said, when the spirit is come, he will still lead you to all things. Has the spirit gone by? Has the Holy Ghost gone by? Rather, you will say, let's make sure those things agree with scripture. 
Because the scripture is above all revelations. Except the revelation is proved to be from God by the scripture. Then it has the same capacity with the scripture. Because it's coming from the same Lord. This is written historical. And the Lord is speaking present. If the present agrees with the historical, then the present and the historical are one. Because they're coming from one Lord. So, that's it. Make intercession. Kinds of prayer. Pray, prayer of spiritual warfare against principalities and powers. Where are these demons? Did you come with some here? Are there some demons around? They will be smashed here. Because when you stand up today, they will regret they came around. I say, when we stand up today to manifest the power of sonship, those demons, even those ones that are standing at the gate, they will be suffocating there. Yeah. Angels will handle them there. Yeah. They will regret it. Yeah. I say they will regret it. Yeah. Because prayer warfare is what the Lord is said. He said, I have made you a battle axe. Battle axe. Son of man. Son of man. I have made you a battle axe. With thee, I will break down things. I will root out things. I will pull down things. Even as I use you to build prayer warfare against principalities and powers. Ephesians chapter 6. Ephesians chapter 6. I read from verse 10 to verse 18. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord. And in the power of his mind, put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle, not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. We therefore take unto you the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day. And having done all to stand, stand therefore, having your loins got about with truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness, and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace, above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked, and take the helmet of salvation, and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. Verse 18, everybody want to go. Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. Hmm. Do it for your family and set that family free. Engage the devil. Wrestle with him and set your life free. Engage the devil. Wrestle, wrestle with him and set others free. Engage the devil that has brought darkness to people. That's why the Lord is getting you ready. You will engage the devil in these churches. He has brought darkness to these churches. You will engage him in warfare and deliver those members from Satan. You will open their eyes. You will take away the blanket that the devil has bewitched them with by power paul looked at by jesus that was blocking the salvation of the proconsul he looked at him filled with the holy ghost and said yes yes thou child of the devil full of all subtlety and mischief will ye not Cease to perverse the ways of the Lord. Today you will be blind. And the Lord answered that prayer. Ye shall decree a thing and it shall be established. Amen. As you go, you will go and tell me that many Catholics have turned to Jesus. Amen. By the power of prayer. As you face a Catholic church, early morning, maybe around 5 a.m., 4 a.m., 
and begin to decree demons inside the church. Can you leave that place? I say leave. I say leave. I said, leave. Let fire fall down. Let fire come down. I said, get out. I said, get out. I bind all those forces. Get out. All this blindness. Worshipping Mary and thinking that Mary is Savior. Today I end it here. Today I end it in this place. I said, put it to an end. We shall hear the story. I said, we shall hear the story. That the Catholic came to church and something happened. And that the, the reverend father opened the scripture and started speaking another thing. It's no more Hail Mary. He said, ah, give your life to Jesus. I give your life to Jesus. Everybody should repent. Please, if you want to repent, come forward here. <laughs> Hallelujah. I'm talking about spiritual warfare. You pick your brothers that are going to these condemned churches and begin to intercede. Bind those spirits that have confused him. All those holy communion polluted with demons begin to chisel them out. I say, come out! Come out! In the name of Jesus! In the name of Jesus! It will be done. Hey! It shall be done! It shall be done! Hey! You say you, there's a witch living near you. Ah! A partner is a, my husband is a witch. Good. Go and show your power. I say, go and show your power. Go to the other room. Oh, take the picture, that picture of your husband. Hey! Hey! Power! I command every witch card. I say, die in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Die in the name of Jesus. You demon, you cannot come to my house. You cannot come to my house by the power of God. Holy God! Go and try this for one week and see whether anybody will come up for witchcraft in your house. Hallelujah! You have been sitting still. That's what the devil is playing. But the Lord has, is resting up a new set of people. Power is coming down as I'm talking. Power is coming down as I'm talking. Power is coming down as I'm talking. Holy Ghost! Holy Ghost! It's good you're here. Tell your friend that it's good I am here. Talk, talk to one another. <laughs> it's good I'm here. That is it. That is it. Yeah. Prayer of intercession. Now, prayer of spiritual warfare. In the book of Psalm 118 verse 10 to verse 12. Psalm 118 verse 10 to verse 12. The Bible is telling us, learn this prayer warfare. Learn it. All nations compass me about, but in the name of the Lord will I destroy them. They compass me about, yeah, they compass me about, but in the name of the Lord, I will destroy them. They compass me about like bees. They are quenched as the fire of tongues. For in the name of the Lord, I will destroy them. Yes, Psalm, Psalm 35, Psalm 35, power Power must come. Power from above. Hallelujah. When we call on God. Power must come. Psalm 35. Psalm 35. I read from verse 1. I say prayer warfare. God is ready to do it. Ask anything in my name and I will do it. Demand me to do anything. Command ye me. I will do it as long as you are praying according to my will. And it is my will that demons will not overcome you. It is my will that all your enemies will be subdued. Plead my cause, O oh Lord, with them that strive with me. Fight against them that fight against me. Take hold of shield and buckler and stand up for my help. Draw out also the spear. And stop the way against them that persecute me. 
Say unto my soul, I am thy salvation. Let them be confounded and put to shame that seek after my soul. Let them be turned back and brought to confusion that divides my heart. Let them be as chaff before the wind and let the angel of the Lord chase them. Let their way be dark and slippery. Let the angel of the Lord persecute them. Yes, for without cause have they hid for me their need in a pit, which without cause they have digged for my soul. Let destruction come upon him at unawares, and let his need that he has hid catch himself. Into that very destruction let him fall. And my soul shall be joyful in the Lord. It shall rejoice in his salvation. All the boons shall say, Lord, who is like unto thee, which delivereth the poor from him that is too strong, from him, yeah, the poor and the needy, from him that spoiled him. Yes, 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 God is waiting for you. God is waiting for you. In Psalm 1, Psalm 18, Psalm 18 from verse 1. I will love thee, O Lord, my strength. The Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer. My God, my strength, in whom I will trust my buckler and the horn of my salvation and my high tower. I will call upon the Lord who is worthy to be praised. So shall I be saved from my enemies. The sorrows of death compassed me and the floods of ungodly men made me afraid. The sorrows of hell compassed me about. The snares of death prevented me in my distress. I called upon the Lord and I cried unto my God. He heard my voice out of his temple and my cry came before him even into his ears. Then the earth shook and trembled. The foundation also of the hills were moved and were shaken because he was angry. He was robbed. Therefore went up a smoke out of his nostrils and fire out of his mouth devout. Coals were kindled by it. He bowed the heavens also and came down and darkness was under his feet and he wrote upon a cherub and did fly. Yeah, he did fly upon the wings of the wind. He made darkness his secret place. His pavilion ran about him where dark waters and thick clouds of the skies at the brightness that was before him. His thick clouds passed hailstones and coals of fire. The Lord also thundered in the heavens and the highest gave his voice hailstones and coals of fire. Yeah! He sent out his arrows and scattered them and he shot out like tenings and discomfited them. Then the channels of waters were seen and the foundations of the world were discovered at thy rebuke, O Lord, at, at the blast of thy breath. Of, thy, of the breath of thy nostrils. He sent from above. He took me. He drew me out of many waters. He delivered me from my strong enemy and from them which hated me, for they were too strong for me. They prevented me in the day of my calamity. But the Lord was my stay. He brought me forth also into a large place. He delivered me because he delighted in me. The Lord rewarded me according to my righteousness. According to the cleanness of my hands hath he recompensed me. For I have kept the ways of the Lord and have not wickedly departed from my God. Now, righteous child, righteous man, righteous sister, righteous brother, the Lord is ready to fight for you. The Lord is ready to fight for you. He will shake that family. He will shake that family. The family that is full of witchcraft. Power will descend there. Yeah. I say the power will descend there. Yeah. That family shall shake. That family shall shake. 
The power of the Lord shall root out everything because He delights in your life. The Lord loves your life. The Lord loves your life. Anyone that raises his hand against you, the Lord said, destroy. I say, every tongue that shall raise against you in judgment, condemn. I say, condemn. I will back you up. The Lord will back you up. The Lord will break you up for you. The demons will scatter. Those demons will scatter. Hey, take the witch in your family to God in prayer. Let's see what is happening. I said, take that witch to God in prayer. Let's know what is happening. Something will happen. In Jesus' name, we are strong. Sit down. I don't even know whether I've reached half of my message. Except you want to force me. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. The weapons of our warfare are not carnal. They are mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds, casting down imagination, and bringing down every thought to the obedience of Christ. Every high thing that exalts itself above the, the knowledge of God. Now, having in a readiness to revenge all disobedience, when your obedience is fulfilled, let the Holy Ghost touch you with power. Amen. Let there be a communication into your body, Amen. into your spirit. Amen. Victorious power Amen. to do wonders for God. Amen. If you see what will follow you when you leave this place, angels are ready. Amen. I say angels are ready. You just, as you just go decree a thing, angels will go and perform it. It will give God glory in your life. End time army. Valiant me. Prayer warriors. Where are you? Prayer warriors. Valiant me. To face end time challenges. The Lord be with you in Jesus' name. <laughs> Yay! Prayer of agreement. The Bible says in Matthew chapter 18, verse 19 and 20. Matthew chapter 18, verse 19 and 20. He said, Again I say unto you, that if two of you shall agree on earth, as touching anything that they shall ask, it shall be done for them. Of my Father which is in heaven, for where two or three are gathered in my name, there am I in the midst of them. You and your wife can, be, can agree together. Woman learn to pray. That's why Satan doesn't want prayer in that house. Because of the power of prayer in, or in agreement. You and your brother pray. That is where prayer, Satan doesn't want you to love yourself. Because if you love yourselves, if you come together in prayer of agreement, his plan will not succeed. You and another brother can agree. The Bible says if you do and call upon the living God, answers will come. God will produce great answers for you. That's what he said. Prayer of agreement. Prayer of praise and thanksgiving. Prayer of praise and thanksgiving. Ephesians chapter 5, verse 20. Ephesians chapter 5. I read verse 20. The Bible says, Giving thanks always for all things unto God and the Father in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Always thank him for his good works, for answers to prayer. Sing praise. Worship him. That's prayer of thanksgiving and worship. Prayer of praise. Rejoicing as Jehoshaphat and the people worshipped and rejoiced in God. Be committed to these prayers. 
How do you make your prayers effective? When you pray, exercise faith that God has hurt you. When you pray, believe. Pray and believe. Take time to confess that you believe. That God has hurt you. That's what the word says. Have faith in God. Verily I say unto you, whosoever shall say to this mountain, be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt it in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he said shall come to pass, he shall have whatever he said. In another place, it shall be done unto him. The doer is God. You just go and say it. Therefore, I say unto you, what things soever ye desire, when ye pray, believe that ye receive it. Ye receive them, and ye shall have them. Believe God. Faith is terrible, it's difficult, it looks impossible, but it is possible. It shall come to pass. Just say it and leave it there. Take your burden to the Lord and leave it there. It will come and germinate to your surprise. Result will follow. If it delays, wait for it. It will come. God answers prayers. At the right time, it shall be done. Again, what do you do to strengthen your prayer? Add fasting to your prayers. Add fasting. Yes. This kind goeth not out, but by prayer and fasting. Why do you live your life without fasting? Many times there are unsurmountable problems, difficulties in your life. And the flesh tells you not to fast. You need to eat food every day. Satan tells you not to fast. You are too sick to fast. Not knowing that it is this fasting that will strengthen you against Satan. Or else Satan is doing some trick. Any day you fast, he will multiply that problem. That's to discourage you so that you don't fast again. But he just is a trick. Because if you go on, if you go on, he will run. But he wants to just discourage you. Any day he fast, you fast, that dream, uh -huh, that dream will come mysteriously again. It's a lie. Keep on going. Keep on going. Keep on going. Come. When you are cutting down a tree, as you're cutting, it's, uh, it's not a tree dancing and laughing by the leaves. The leaves are dancing and laughing. Do you live cutting the tree? Because the leaves, instead of crying, they're dancing. They're rejoicing. Keep on cutting. But the dancing leaf, everything will fall bah, on the ground. Keep on your prayer. I'm telling you, add fasting to your prayer. And it will work in Jesus' name. Yeah. Claim the promises. Prayer promises. Claim, pray according to God's promise. I remember when David came before the Lord to pray. He said, it is because you have told me that you will establish my house forever. That is why I have found it to pray unto you. It is because of the word you gave. That's why I am praying. Cut the promises of God. Tell God the promise that he gave you. Stand by that promise. The promise the Holy Ghost has quickened to you in scripture. The promise your heart has hooked to and you are sure that this is from God for you. Stand there. It will strengthen your prayer. And it will bring result unto you. Again, make prayer decrees to be established by God. Ye shall decree a thing and it shall be established unto you. And light shall shine on your ways. Ye shall decree a thing. Say, Elijah, Elijah just came to before Ahab and said, There shall be no rain upon the earth except by my word. And he went his way. Was there rain? God has asked to go and open your mouth and say it. I will establish it. Go and say it. I will establish it. Decree a thing. And the Lord shall establish it. Again, speak to the mountain. Speak to the situation. I speak as though the situation has ears to hear. Speak. Although it's a non-living thing, but speak to it. 
The Bible says, according to the spirit of faith, the word says, I believe, therefore have I spoken. Speak out your belief, what you have believed. Speak it. How you want the situation should become, declare it. That's what you do. Yes. Confess that you have received it. Have a good confession. For with the heart, man believeth unto righteousness. And with the mouth, confession is made unto salvation. Keep on confessing it. Keep on confessing it. Keep on confessing it. I have received it. I have received it. I have received it. I have received it. It shall be done unto you. Ways of prayer. Personal prayers. Learn how to pray alone. Not necessarily with people. Jesus prayed alone. Although he wanted the disciples to pray along with him. Paul most often had time to pray alone. And there was resolved. Learn how to pray alone. Not necessarily with your husband. Or with your wife. Or with the household. Learn it. But then pray in groups. Learn how to join groups to pray. At least one person or two or more. Or group prayers. Join them. Yes. Iron sharpened iron. Join them. Sometimes you're very weak in your body. You're too weak to do what? But when you join multitude, gradually you will pick up. Because iron sharpened iron. Now, learn to attend night vigils. Prayer vigils. Attend prayer vigils. With people. With the church. With the brethren. Don't be lazy. Sitting at home. You are a weak Christian. You are sowing a bad thing for yourself in the future. That you don't go for night vigils. When the church organizes night vigils, go there. I have not said you should be looking for night vigils from one place to the other in the town. You will go to night vigils of Satan. All these occultic people, they do wickedly in the night. You will become the person they have been praying for to come among them. So, I'm talking about your brethren. People you know. You understand them. Do night vigil with them. Join, I mean, have prayer retreat for hours. Take yourself somewhere and have time to pray there. Take yourself somewhere, maybe a full day, and have time to pray there. Or go, three days, one week, whichever time the Lord gives you. Separate yourself and just have time. Have you applied this medicine to your sickness? Times of prayers. Hours of prayers. Have you applied this solution to your problem? Hours of prayer. I told a story sometime that which I heard of a man in Port Harcourt in those days. The story went, this man was unemployed. This man was poor. This man had nothing to do. This man was a Christian, a believer. This man wanted God to give him something. He, he shot himself for three days prayers. In a room, he didn't come out. Prayer retreat. Prayer fatigue. Fatigue yourself in prayer. You who are praying and sleeping and cannot fatigue yourself. People are reading in school and put their legs on water. So that as the water will be coming, coming, to, coming on them, they will not sleep. And you, for prayer, you cannot do anything. Lazy person. How will you overcome? How will you build energy? How will you receive an answer? How will you win over the devil? Oh, slogan. Go to the ant and consider her ways and be wise. A little sleep, a little slumber, a little folding of the hands to sleep. Your spiritual poverty shall come as an armed man. Yes, as a traveler. You will be, all that the power, all power you have accumulated will finish because you're not accumulating new one. The one you're using now was accumulated yesterday. It's through the prayers of yesterday and you're not investing for tomorrow. You will be out of business very soon. But this man locked up himself. It was a fatigue not to see the scar. I will spend time with my God. I will spend time with my God. I said, God, you must answer me. I cannot be an idle man. God, you are my owner. 
You have all things for me, the all wise God. The God that knows all things. God, I want you to bless me. I want you to bless me. The prayer of Jabez. I want you to bless me. I want to change my situation around. Why am I not married? Why am I not like this? Why am I not like this? Oh God divine, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And be pacing up and down. And be pacing up and down. This is God in heaven. He will hear your prayers. He will bring solution to your life. He will raise you up. God change the history of Jabez. He will change your history. He will change your history. He will change the history of your family. He will change the history of your family. In the name of Jesus. So this man was praying. Then the Lord answered him. My son, I have hurt you. The little money you have, go and buy that parcel of land there. Where the dumb refuge. Go and buy it. He had the voice of God clearly. God, what will he do to me? I have told you. Jesus, what will you give? I have told you. Then assurance came. All right, it's done. It's done. God has answered. He went and bought that parcel of land. God meant to, meant to make him rich. Yes, a prospecting company, oil company came there and discovered beautiful crude oil on that ground. The man of God has, the child of God has become a rich man. God made him rich. Everybody say it. It is not kidnapping that made him rich, but God. Because he prayed. Because he prayed. I put prayer into your mouth. Yeah. Open your mouth and receive. Open your mouth and receive. Go and pray. Then, when you come the other time, I don't know how you will come. Maybe if you feel like seeing pastor, you say, Pastor, I was in your youth conference about three years ago. I went and applied what you told me to do. Pastor, I am one of the great men in Imo State. Yes. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, what state will you call? What is your state? I said, what is your state? What is your state? God is ready to do it. He wants righteous people to be in authority. Who say we cannot be governors? Who say holy man cannot be president? The, the presidents of president, who is he? Is he not a holy man? Is it anything to give you the president of a country? Is it anything to give you chairman of a local government? Is it anything to give you the governor of a state? Is it anything? Daniel was, was placed there by God. And God used Daniel for the kingdom of God. May God place you in the right place he will use you. May God place you in the right place he will use you. Yay! Yeah. By the work of prayer. By the work of prayer, I'm telling you. How to make your prayer work. Plead the blood of Jesus over your situation. Over the devil. That is what you have to do. Yes, personal prayer, group prayer, night vigil, prayer retreat. Join prayer warriors. The prayer warriors has come Why? We are not having people who are hoping for great ministries tomorrow. People want to sharpen themselves. Sharpen themselves. When a young dog is growing, it wants to sharpen its teeth. So it's looking for bone to chew and break. If it cannot get bone, if your shoe is near that dog, you, your shoe will suffer. I'm telling you. Because the dog wants to train the teeth. You know, he knows that all about dog is teeth. Whether to play his teeth, to fight his teeth. So he's working on his teeth. Where are those people that are training themselves to pray? Go and join prayer warriors. Go and train yourself there. So that tomorrow we can see you. We can see you exercise. Now, go and cast out devil. How many of you have ever cast out a demon? Yes. Yes. This one has cast out a demon. This one too. How many of them? Oh, oh you, are not, you didn't cast out. Is it by mistake you raise up your, you raise up your hand? You will receive power to cast out devils. Yeah. Go!
God will use you. Go and do deliverance. Deliverance. You think that those who raise the dead have all the faith. Sometimes fear is inside their heart. I will tell you the story of a man. You're better than that man. I say you're better than that man. Because the things you know, the things you know, the power that has entered into you is greater. This man was a local pastor of, I think, an Orthodox church and was going maybe on his bicycle to Sunday worship. Then a woman said, Pastor, Pastor, come, come, come to my house. A, 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 a branch to the woman's house. My child has died. My child, Pastor, my child must come back to life. Eh? How? I don't know those things. I've not done it before. My child, Pastor, you must not go. My child must come back to life. Yes, he is pastor. Now he has to defend his, his rank. What will he do? His pastor with wisdom. He went to do his own. After he has performed his right, he said, you know, I've prayed. Oh, the child didn't rise. And I have church. I'm going to church. <laughs> so, he entered. God, this woman child died. And he said, I should come and raise the child. Well, I have not done it before. I have not even seen where they do it. I am praying for this child. She says she wants her child alive. Do everything according to your will. Whichever way the man pray, the child cop. <coughs> the child was. <laughs> you will do more than that. The power of the Lord is coming upon your life. The power of the Lord is coming upon your life. The power of the Lord is coming upon your life. The power of the Lord is coming upon your life. Rise up upon your feet. Receive. Go and do exploits. Go and do exploits. By power of prayer. By the power of prayer. Clear out the demons. Heal the sick. Raise the dead. Amen. Cleanse the lepers. Amen. The name of Jesus is for, is for you. Amen. Go and use that name of Jesus. Amen. Go and use the word of God. Amen. Go and claim the promises of Christ. Amen. Open your mouth and pray. Yes, shall receive power to do signs and wonders. To do signs and wonders. Prayer power, prayer power, prayer power, prayer power, prayer power, prayer power, prayer, prayer. Receive the prayer power from God. Go and pray. Go and pray. Go and pray. Go and develop prayer. Go and develop prayer. Take a prayer trip. Take prayer tray. Take prayer walk. Prayer. 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 Revive your prayer. 
Revive your prayer life. Develop it. Develop it. Come back to prayer life. Come back. Work on yourself. Let your flesh die. And let prayer take over. 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 Yay! All kinds of prayer. All kinds of prayer. Praying always with all prayer. Praying always with all prayer. Make your family a family of prayer. The Lord says, my house shall be called the house of prayer. Meet the church a place of prayer. A place of prayer. A place of prayer. anything in my name I will do it demand anything in my name I will do it demand anything in my name I will do it Always to pray and not to faint. Let the leader show yourself in prayer. Let the pastor manifest themselves in prayer. Violent prayers. Violent prayers. Violent prayers. Pray with all your strength. Pray with all your strength. Oh, pastors, I want you to pray. I want you to pray. I want you to pray. Receive the power of prayer. Receive the power of prayer, pastor's wife, pastor's wife, power of prayer, power of prayer, power of prayer, receive it, receive it, receive it, receive it, power of prayer. Hallelujah. Oh Lord, revive our prayer life, revive our prayer life. Revive our prayer life. Oh God, let the power of prayer come down. Let the power of prayer come down. Upon your people. Upon the youth. Upon the adults. Hey, power. Hey, power. Power. Hey, receive. Receive the power of prayer. 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 Prayer. Pray, oh Lord, open our mouth to pray. Open our mouth to pray. Ah, Jesus. Hello, open your mouth and be praying there. Open your mouth and be praying there. Oh, power I come down. Oh Lord, power of prayer. Jesus, Jesus, give us the power of prayer. Revive your children. Return prayer to your church. Return prayer to your church. Oh, Jesus. 
Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Power. Holy Ghost. Revive your church in prayer. Holy Ghost. Revive your church in prayer. Holy Ghost. Revive the church. Let prayer come back. Let prayer come back. Whoa, whoa. Let the minister pray. Let the minister pray. Jesus, Jesus, teach us to pray. Teach us to pray. Teach us to pray. All the quick in our bodies to pray. Quick in our life to pray. Take away the duty that is blocking prayer. Take away the devil that is breaking prayer. In Jesus. In Jesus. Name. In Jesus. Name. Oh, we will pray. 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 Jesus. prayer warriors and valiant youths to face end time challenges. Hey! Power to face end time challenges. Power to face end time challenges. Power to face end time challenges. Power to face receive the power to face End time challenges. Power of prayer. Power of prayer. Prayer warriors. Revive. 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 Let your prayer life revive. Let your prayer life revive. Old man of God, you are old. You are old. Come back to your youth for strength. The Lord renew your youth. The Lord renew your youth. The Lord renew your youth. By the spirit of prayer. May the Lord renew your youth. By the spirit of prayer. Receive renewal of youth. By the spirit of prayer. By the spirit of prayer. May the Lord renew your youth. Hallelujah. 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 Jesus. 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 Hey. Thank you. Yes, shall receive power. Yes, shall receive power. Yes, shall receive power. Holy Ghost, pour your power on them. Pour your power on your children. Pour your power on your children. Pour your power upon your children. Pour your power upon your ministers. Receive the power of prayer. Power of prayer. Power of prayer. Receive. Hey. sins must die all sins must die by prayer by prayer by prayer they must die sin must die sin must die in your life in your life in your family in your marriage thank you
receive receive your desire thank you Jesus thank you Lord thank you for giving them thank you for giving them thank you for giving them Jesus thank you in Jesus name we pray your hands up your hands up that force that is not allowing you to pray that power that is not allowing you to pray in your house your mouth is closing up because of bewitchment you cannot pray I, the, the Lord shall set you free the Lord shall set you free the Lord shall set you free the spirit of prayer is coming down you will receive almighty father today the day of revival the word of God and prayer yes I am praying make a request let the spirit of prayer come down Whoa. almighty father baptize your people with the spirit of prayer in the name of Jesus my God every blockade in their life satanic blockade demonic blockade bewitchment let them be broken Hey, in the name of Jesus, anyone that is bound, that he cannot pray anymore, anyone bound, your mouth is sealed by the authority of heaven, by the powers of heaven. I command your prayer mouth open. All those things that binds you, I command them broken. Let energy of prayer come down on you. Receive. Receive! 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 In the name of Jesus! In the name of Jesus! Let the door of signs and wonders open for you. Let the door of victory open for you. Let the enemies bow before you. Stand equal to end them challenges. Yes. Thou at my battle axe. Thou at my battle axe. All those darknesses around. By your prayer intercession. As Lord came out of Sodom. By the intercession of Abraham, all those people locked up in satanic churches, you will bring them out. Oh, Jesus. By your intercession grace, the hand of the Lord is upon you. The hand of the Lord is upon you. The hand of the Lord is upon you. Receive power. Receive grace. You are blessed. You are a new man. You are now a new person. You are now a new person. God will hear your prayers. In Jesus' name we pray.
The message you have just listened to is a production of Holiness Revival Movement Worldwide. Holiness Revival Movement Worldwide is a non-denominational ministry that is given to the propagation of Christ's righteousness and holiness in churches and nations of the world through crusades, revival meetings, production and spread of holiness literature and materials. For other spiritual materials, messages or inquiries, contact us on 0816-902-3948 or 0805-683-4323. You can also reach us through our email address, Holiness Revival Movement at gmail.com God bless you For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son that whosoever believes in Him should not perish but have everlasting life For God sent not His Son into the world to condemn the world but that the world through Him might be saved Hallelujah. Jesus, I believe in you. You are my Lord and Savior. I believe in you. You are the living Savior. Huh?
I believe, believe in you. Believe you are the living Savior. Jesus, I believe in you. I believe in you. You are my Lord and Savior. You Lord. are my Lord and Savior. Savior. Jesus, I believe. 